I'm out here doing a little scouting today at one of my permissions and right now we're on the side of a hill which was right next to what was a Civil War artillery post. But anyway, I've only been here for about 15 minutes and I just got a 1032 signal right here. Popped out what I believe is a pretty old spoon. I looked on the back there, I don't see any markings, but anyway, hopefully this is an indication that there's still some old targets in the ground here. What a bottle is that? Wow, what is that? I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. What does it say? It says, uh, that's a new grape bottle. I have never seen one like that. Looks like it's pretty old definitely gonna take that with me and there's another bottle right here which is busted but that is a it looks like a quart top so, even some old bottles up in here man I like that one that is cool so apparently I've stumbled onto a bottle dump here just got a Cedartown, Georgia Coca-Cola bottle. Definitely gonna hang on to that one. And I could see several more over that way. So I'm gonna mosey on over there and if I get any other cool ones, I'll show them to you. Well, the place seems like it might have some potential. So I went ahead and invited the whole crew out. There's James over there. Silvano's on the other side of the hill and David and Jeff still haven't made it out here yet. 1244 at four inches. Seems like it's out of the hole. There it is. And that's a silver mercury dime. I have no idea what the date is, but there we go. I'll take it. James just popped out an old axe head or hatchet. I believe it's an axe head, it's pretty heavy. That could possibly be from the Civil War days. There's an 1134, which is in the Indian Head Penny Range. Not very deep. Uh, what is that? I'm not really sure what that is. Got something written on there. It's 
written backwards, so that's actually some kind of stamp. I'm going to cut in here for just a minute because this actually turned out to be a really neat find. Now, when I first dug it out of the ground, I could see that it was either some kind of stamp or a printing plate because the letters were in reverse, but couldn't really get any detail off of it. So I took it back to the truck, cleaned it up, and got it in some better light. Then I took a picture of it and reversed the image. After doing that, it really jumped out at me. Check this out. And the woman you see there is Paulina Frederick, and she was an American actress who was born in 1883 and died in 1938. She was best known for silent films in the early 1900s, and one of those films was called Sleeping Fires. If you look at the flyer there, you'll see that it's the exact same image as what's on the plate. So what I think I have here is a printing plate that was used to make either flyers or advertisements for this movie. So that's the kind of stuff I really like to find. That's pretty neat. Anyway, back to the video. This is an 0434, which is in the mini ball range. Awful shallow though, it's just below the surface. Well, that's actually an old pocket knife. Yep. Oh, I just got a swirly sounding 1111 signal right there. It didn't really sound like a coin, so I didn't do a live dig, but it turned out to be a V nickel, one that's seen better days actually looks like it's been shot. I don't know what it is with all the shot coins I've been finding lately. Anyway, I think the date is 1909. Fifteen thirty-four at six inches. That's in the uh, Indian head pinning range. I think that's going to be a musket ball. Yep. A musket ball. Just got an 1147 signal right there. And as I push the shovel in and pry it upward, that popped out. It's going to be an old makeup compact. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. We'll pry it open later and see if there's anything in it. Not too heavy though, so I doubt it.
Thank you.